Hi you guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Julia and I'm here to give you guys a book haul. So I have probably about 37 books and I've bought them from various places. I've got them from Goodwill, Ollie's, Library, um, Walmart, Dollar Tree. So just a few random places that I have found some amazing books. And I also like to, like I said, go to um, Goodwill and the library also to find thrifted books because for one, it is great for the planet. You are recycling books instead of buying a new copy when you could just buy it from someone else that has read it and if you don't like it and it only costs you maybe a buck or two so it's amazing for me to go to goodwill or places like that where i can find some amazing books at a great price and i found some amazing books and let's just go ahead and jump right into it before we start this video i want to say thank you for the new subscribers that i've been getting a lot recently i've probably gained like two since the last time I posted a video, which was the other day. And I'm really trying to post more often. Like I said in my previous video, I work on night shifts. So I go in at 7.15 and I don't get off till 5.45 in the morning, which I don't usually go to sleep till about eight o'clock in the morning. So I'm extremely tired at times, but I really want to focus more on my YouTube and my growth and I hope I can turn this into a career because I love showing you guys some amazing books that I find at various places and at a great price. So let's go ahead and just go ahead and jump right in. All right, you guys. So where do I start? <laughs> Where do I start is the question. Let's start with graphic novels. So I went to my Dollar Tree and I found some amazing graphic novels. They retail for way more than a dollar. And I was just so, I was so, so shook just by the books that I found there. So I found Head Games, which this is by Craig McDonald and Kevin Singles. It says, on the road to hell with a trunk full of skulls. And I just thought it was so cool. And it retailed for $19.99. So, this is the back of it also. What it looks like. I just think it is so cool. The art in it was just, it's super cool. So, I've always liked comic books as a kid. Like, I've always liked um, Archie. Archie was my favorite. So... Graphic novels are really cool. And I picked up Sculptor by Scott McCloud. And this was a really, really great find. It retailed for $29.99. And I picked it up for a dollar at Dollar Tree. And this book, like the hardback, the hardcover of it. Let me show you without the dust jacket. It is amazing. It's got this blue. It's got the guy on the front. And we got the girl on the back, which is so cool. And this is the spine. And this book is blue and black on the inside. So let's show you a few of it. Let's see. Like this. And let's see. It's just that this art is just so stunning. So I picked it up for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. And then the last graphic novel that I picked up is called Decelerate Blue by Adam Rapp and Mike Cavallaro. Cavallaro. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. This is what it looks like. Which I think this is so pretty too. Just like it's got blue edges. And this retailed for $17.99. Once again, the Dollar Tree. It's 
got some amazing art in here as well. So that, that was super cool to find those at Dollar Tree. And then I'll go ahead and start with, I guess, Walmart. And I think I picked up one from Target. So I picked up from Walmart. I picked up Stephen King's The Stand. I'm a big Stephen King fan. So really am excited to get into this. Don't know much about it. Don't care. Stephen King is like an auto buy author for me. So if he writes it, I really want to pick it up and I want to read it. Got that. And then another Stephen King that I picked up from Target is Pet Cemetery, which I'm so excited to start reading this one as well, which I'll probably read this one in like October or something like that. All right, then we're going to go on to just random books. <laughs> and I'll try to tell you like where I picked it up from. So I picked up in this series by... Stig Larson, The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, which I've heard so many good things about this, and I'm really excited to read it. I think it is a thriller, so, and I picked up the second one, The Girl Who Played with Fire, so I have both of these, and I picked these up from Goodwill, and let me tell you, they look brand new. The spine is not broken. Like, these look really good to be from Goodwill. Like, almost brand new. Then I picked up from Goodwill also, Red, bon Red Queen by Victoria, Victoria Aveyard. Super happy about this one. Like I said, once again, looks brand new. Goodwill, no broken spine. Super clean. And then I picked up The Black Dahlia by James Elroy. Really happy about this find. Once again, Goodwill. No broken spine. It looks brand new. It's not highlighted or nothing in it, so I'm really happy about this find. And I picked up from Dollar Tree, The Snowmelt River by Frank P. Ryan. Very pretty cover. I love the cover, so I think this is a fantasy. Yes, it is. So very happy about that. And then I also picked up A Wild Beauty by Anna Marie McClemore. And this I picked up from Dollar Tree, and I was happy to find this. Um, I've heard so many good things about this, so I'm so excited to get into it. Probably soon because it gives me such like pretty vibes and you know and this is what it looks like on the desk on the hardcover just this very pretty emerald green so happy about to find that for a dollar and then I picked up Twilight from Goodwill and I was so shook to find this that it was not a broken spine. It looked brand new once again. No highlighting, no underlining. So pretty. So I want to collect all of them. I haven't really read, I haven't read the Twilight series, but I have watched the movies. So I'm happy to dive into the books. And then I picked up, let's see. Where to go next? From Ollie's, I picked up Queenie. I've heard a lot about this. This is from Candace Cardi Williams. So I'm happy to get into this. And then I picked up, where'd I find this? I think I found this at Goodwill, if I'm not mistaken. Days of Blood and Starlight by Lanny Taylor. I also want to get this whole series. So. And another book from Goodwill I picked up was The Hunger Games Catching Fire. I believe I picked this up from Goodwill. Either Goodwill or the library that my dad volunteers at. Because they sell books there. So. Um, 
happy about the Hunger Games. This is the second one, Catching Fire. I do have the first one, which is the Hunger Games. I did pick this one up from Goodwill. So this one I picked up from the library. So this was Goodwill. Happy about that find. And another book from Goodwill is A Man Called Ove by Frederick Bachman. So happy about this. Like I said, once again, it looks brand new. No highlighting, no underlining, no broken spine. So happy about that. And I also picked up I Owe You One by Sophia, Sophie Kinsella. And Goodwill, brand new almost pretty much perfect condition and I picked up John Green Paper Towns from Goodwill brand new once again like I said a lot of these copies that I found were such great condition I was I was surprised coming from Goodwill like then I picked up Eat, Pray, Love by Elizabeth Gilbert. Now, this was like a little bit um, bent up here. It's got a little bit of wear and tear, but that's okay. I mean, it still looks pretty good. So, ha happy to have that copy. And then I picked up this copy of Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte which I think this cover is just perfect. It is so amazing. I love the rose. I love how it's just so pretty. The red fingernail polish, like red lipstick, come on. Like, so happy to get into this. Classic, you know? And then I picked up The Secrets of Paper and Ink by Lindsay Harrell. This seemed pretty interesting. I love the cover. I love the pink and it's just so pretty. So it was a cover buy for me. And this was picked up from, I believe this was picked up from Ollie's. So it was brand new. And then I picked up Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. And this is a Tim Burton film. And I really like the movie cover book for this, which I do like the other ones, but they're just, I don't know. I just thought this was like really, really cute. So, and I mean, I haven't seen the movies. I know there's like some, some photos of here in here about the movie and stuff like that. So I love the illustrations, like the pictures I'm in and just so cool. So I'm really happy to get into this. And then I picked up, did I say I picked this up from Ollie's? I picked this up from Ollie's also. And I picked up Julia Vanishes. And this is a witch's child novel. And I think this was so cool. This is from Catherine Egan. And I picked this up from Ollie's. And I just thought this was so cool because it's got magic in it. And my name is Julia. And I just thought that was just so cool because, like I said, just magic, fantasy, everything, like, I'm into it. Sign me up. So, what else? I picked this up from Ollie's, too. Uh, it's called The Wangs vs. the World by Jade Chang. And this was a book of the month book, and I found it at Ollie's for $2.99. So... So happy about this find. And what else? Okay, I think these are books that I found at the library. Or this might have been from Goodwill. It ends with us, Colleen Hoover. And like I said, this is a perfect edition. Like, I was so, so shocked. It's just amazing. And I picked up Ready Player One by Ernest Klein. So happy to find this and perfect condition. This I think I found at Goodwill. So I was so happy about that. 
Gillian Flynn, Gone Girl. So happy about Gone Girl. Like, I really want to get into this one, too. There's so many books that I just want to get into right now that I'm just trying to slowly get into them. So, and I picked up The Girl on the Train by Paula Hawkins. Happy about that. I think I found this at the library. My dad works at it, so. And then I have Hunting Prince Dracula, Dracula by Carrie Man Manis Calco. I picked this up at, where did I pick this up at? I picked this up at Books A Million. So it was on sale and I picked it up and I was just like, yes. Because I have the first one that I picked up on Amazon. Then I have from the Aragon series by Christopher Pellolini. And I found this one at Goodwill. And then I got the second one, Breesinger, from the library. So I got both copies. And then I picked up Nora Roberts' Dark Witch, book one of the Cousins Odor Dwyer trilogy. And I love how these edges are like this, like... I love it. And it's by Nora Roberts. And I just love Nora Roberts. I have like a bunch of her mass market paperbacks. And this is like stunning. Look at that. Like the rows and everything is just so cool. And I picked this up from the library. And they had the whole series. So we have Dark Witch, Shadow Spell, which is book two. And book three is Blood Magic. Anything about witches, magic, like I said, fantasy, sign me up for it. <laughs> and then the last two books I picked up from the library, I mean, not the library, from Dollar Tree, are The Darkest Star by Jennifer L. Armutrout, which I was happy to find this, especially this author. She is very popular, and I found it at Dollar Tree, and I was just like, I gotta have it. So... And on the back it says, In the world of the Lux, secrets thrive, lives, lies shatter, and love is undefiable, undeniable. So I'm happy about this. And the cover is stunning. Like, I love this teal. And it's got all these stars on it. It's just so pretty. And the last book of this haul is called Rule by Ellen Goodlett. Goodlett. And this says, three sisters, three deadly secrets, only one can wear the crown. Which this gives me vibes of three dark crowns. Because you have three sisters. And then only one can wear the crown. Because in that series, it's like they all fight for the crown. And it's just like, hmm. That's what this book gives me, those vibes. So... I'm like, well, let me try this one. And then this one was only a dollar, so I was like, okay. And that spine is pretty. So, and it also has the, on the edges, the book edges, it has that not even pages. I don't know what it's called. The rigid pages. So I thought that was pretty cool. All right, you guys. So that is my massive book haul and so excited about all of these books that I'm just ready to dive in. Lots of big books. We have big floppy books. Just so happy about my big books. Who, look, who doesn't love a big book? Especially the Stephen King book. So happy. This book has, let's see how many pages. Oh my goodness. It has, the very last page of it has 1,152 pages. It's a massive book. But I love it. So, 
And then this one is like seven hundred sixty three pages. I love it. I'm so happy. <laughs> All right, you guys. So Please don't forget to subscribe to my to my channel, like this video. I am sorry, I'm just stumbling on all my words today. I'm extremely tired and I have to go to work tonight. And <sighs> that's all I have to say about that. So let's hope it's going to be a great night for me. And I hope you guys have a great night or day or however, <laughs> whenever you are watching this. And... I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys.